Hello, movie record here. Today I will clarify a comedy film called The Bandit Hound. Keep an eye out and be careful. Outlaw is an Australian shepherd prepared to be a hoodlum by his lords, Manny and Willie. In the initial scene, he strolls into a managing account with a pack and a note appended to it. The watchman doesn't want to check the little canine and lets it through. The clerk peruses the note that says the canine is appended to a hazardous which will go off in the event that they don't fill his rucksack with hundred dollar bills. She rapidly does as told, after which bandit flees. Outside, his lords are sitting tight for him in a vehicle. They look at his pack and toss a GPS beacon utilized as a snare. It turns out that the unstable was phony, utilized as a method for frightening the clerk. Dot while Manny acclaims Bandit for his work, Willie is not enamored with the canine. They drive back to a stockroom and begin counting the cash. Outside, a police officer shows up searching for the looters. He holds them at gunpoint yet Bandit saves his lords by assaulting the cop. Manny and Willie figure out how to escape while the canine is caught. Elsewhere, a 15, year, old kid named Owen is riding his bike down the area. Dot he is out of nowhere halted by a gathering of menaces. They push him around and call him names despite the fact that Owen attempts to become a close acquaintance with them. A young lady from an adjoining house feels terrible for himself and lets her canine out to pursue the harassers away. Owen thanks the young lady and gets back to his mom, Joanne. Owens's dad passed on a year prior on account of a sickness. From that point onward, the family has been dealing with monetary issues. They have moved to the town with at least some expectations of new open doors and to be nearer to their main family member, Auntie Deb. Since they have gotten comfortable, Owen needs to get a pet canine. Joanne is wary, however she can't deny her child. Meanwhile, Manny and Willie are tense since they can never again bring in cash. Manny needs to get Bandit back however Willie demands he train another canine. He even takes a canine however Manny won't prepare anybody other than Bandit. He gets on his PC and searches all the canine safe houses in the town. A couple of moments in, he sees that Bandit is being held in the Heart Rescue Canine Adoption Place. Dot Owen and his mom get to the safe house before them. Aunt Deb thinks bringing a canine home is a poorly conceived notion yet Joanne demands satisfying her child's desires. The proprietor of the reception community. Trevor, is an agreeable man who is by all accounts inspired by Joanne. He acquaints Owen with Bandit and the two in a split second get alone. Sometime later, the family brings Bandit home. After they leave, Manny shows up at the asylum in a request to meet Bandit. At the point when he finds that he has been embraced, he goes through the reception structures and discovers Owen's location. He intends to get his canine back without a doubt Owen's home, Joanne and Deb examine the family's monetary issues. Deb needs Joanne to acquire cash from her yet Joanne needs to do everything all alone. Scoundrel hears the word cash and is immediately cautioned. However, he will not emerge from under the bed. Owen attempts to pay off him with toys and treats however the canine actually doesn't move. He feels that Bandit generally tries to avoid him yet his mom requests that he have some tolerance. After the family falls asleep, Bandit at long last emerges from under the bed and runs outside. Dot simultaneously, Manny and Willie show up there searching for him. Manny sneaks inside the house through the pet entryway while Bandit flees to a close-by eatery. The visitors think he is adorable and allowed him to mess about. Dot be that as it may, when they are occupied, Bandit takes cash from a lady's satchel and gets back. On his way, he additionally takes from a vagrant. Back at the house the burglars drive away in the wake of searching for Bandit wherever however not. Tracking down him. The next day, Owen takes the canine to a vet to ensure he doesn't have any disease. The specialist really looks at him and affirms that Bandit is more grounded than any time in recent memory. Everything works out positively until after they leave and the specialist sees his wallet is missing. That evening, Owen is playing with his toys in the terrace when the young lady who saved him from the domineering jerks approaches him. She presents herself as Lily and requests to be his companion. The two visit for some time before she leaves. Afterward, Owen and Bandit are getting back from the supermarket when the harassers stop them once more. They ridicule Owen and grab his sack of regular food items. Bandit sees a 20, 
dollar note inside their pack and takes it without anybody seeing. At the point when the harassers take steps to toss stones at them, Owen stands firm for him and hits them with tomatoes. Back at home, Joanne is crying since she had a miscommunication at her work and got terminated on her first day. Aunt Deb and her significant other attempt to reassure her when Owen shows up at the house despite the fact that Joanne imagines like everything is going extraordinary before him, Owen comprehends that his mom is having monetary troubles. Unexpectedly, Bandit gives him the $20 note he had taken from the harassers. Before he can sort out where the cash came from, somebody ring the doorbell. It is one of the domineering j- cash. They additionally blame Owen for hitting the children. The lady takes steps to call creature control and leaves. Owen understands that his canine was the person who took the cash. The next day, they go to the recreation area to prepare. Owen immovably accepts that how Bandit treated wrong and needs him to figure out how to pick canine treats rather than cash. While he is grinding away, Lily comes to converse with him, alongside her canine Lucy. The two choose to go out on the town to see the Christmas adornments in and out of town. Subsequent to going through the whole day together and having loads of fun, they embrace and get back. The next day Joanne goes to the canine safe house. To meet Trevor. She at first needs to discuss Bandit's relationship with her child however the heading of the discussion changes when Trevor specifies he needs to date her. Joanne is uncertain on the grounds that she has never been with anybody other than her better half yet she consents to go out on the town in any case. Elsewhere, Owen is preparing Bandit in a recreation area. Crook sees a van and follows it to the bank. Two cops are stacking the van with cash from the states. Depository. The canine stows away under the vehicle and takes a pack of cash when nobody is looking. While he is fleeing, one of the police officers named Albert sees him yet doesn't respect it. Soon, they understand a sack is missing and begin, begin looking for it. In the meantime, Owen tracks down Bandit under a hedge with heaps of cash. Albeit the child realizes that talking the cash would be a wrongdoing, he does as such at any rate to help his mom. Returning home. He meets Aunt Deb who gives him an envelope with a check for $1,000. She requests that he hand it to Joanne as an early Christmas present from her side. Back in the bank, criminal investigator Decker is allotted to discover where the cash went. Albert asserts that it may have been taken by a canine. While everybody giggles, the analyst accepts him since he additionally chipped away at the last theft that Bandit was a piece of. On arriving tome, Owen tears the check in two, or $3,000 in the envelope all things considered. Joanne imagines that her sister is attempting to help her like generally and keeps the cash. The next day, Owen chooses to return the cash without being gotten. Yet, Subsequent to seeing the report about the taken cash on TV, he gets terrified and alters his perspective. Whenever his mom asks him what's going on, he concocts a rationalization saying that he needs to go out on the town with Lily. After the collaboration he goes Lily's home and asks her out. Elsewhere, the burglars additionally see the news and sort out that Bandit has taken the cash. They choose to get it from Owen before he is gotten. Like that. The fault will fall on the child and they will have the cash. Owen and Lily go to a treat store where he gets her a candy different children encompass him, requesting that he get one for them too. To intrigue Lily, he consents to get them all that they need. The young ladies who used to overlook him previously, begin to play with him causing Lily a deep sense of irritation. He carries the whole gathering to a toy shop and gets them all that they pick. Lily inquires as to whether he can manage the cost of it to which he egotistically answers that it is his cash. Lily is disrupted by his new character yet says nothing. Outside the toy store several stops to play with Bandit yet he takes the ladies, jewelry and fleas. Simultaneously, Albert remembers him and starts pursuing the canine in the long run, the couple and every one of the children follow behind. Outlaw figures out how to trick them and moves away in the wake of stowing away inside. A photograph stall. Back home, Joanne and Trevor get back from a date and are going to kiss however are hindered by Bandit. Before long, reality comes out and the family is carried to the police headquarters alongside the canine. Dot a cop cross-examines them and inquires as to whether they have the cash. While the others deny it, Owen understands his error and hands the pack of cash to the official. 
He chooses to release the family since they had no part in the theft. Anyway he needs to hand Bandit to creature control where he will before long be put down. Owen and Bandit share a passionate farewell before detachment. He gets back pitiful that his closest companion is going to be killed. Trevor attempts to brighten him up asserting that he can pick any canine from the asylum. In any case, Owen realizes that nobody can supplant Bandit. Around evening time, Joanne comes to his space to mind him and thinks that he is snoozing. Yet, Owen had just been imagining. He has chosen to go to Creature Control Base Camp to deliver his canine. He gathers up his sacks with garments and different necessities, wanting to move to an alternate state with Bandit. As Owen is going to take, off from, Lily stops him outside the house. Owen imagines that she is going to tell everybody except conversely, she wishes him karma and kisses him on the cheek. Following that, he cycles to the base camp and quickly lets Bandit out of his enclosure. However, what he cannot deny is that Manny and Willie are sitting tight for him outside, prepared to capture the canine. At the point when Owen attempts to shout, they kidnap him and carry him to a stockroom. They had would have liked to get the cash that Bandit had taken from the bank and are baffled subsequent to discovering that Owen returned it. So all things being equal, Manny passes on Willie to take care of Owen and goes to Lou to manage an account with Bandit. The following morning, Joanne goes into Owens's space to awaken him, just to think that he is absent. Meanwhile, Manny acts like visually impaired and enters a save money with Bandit. He utilizes a watchman's weapon too. Compromise the clerk and request cash. Crook and the clerk go to the vault to top off the pack. At the point when the canine gets back with the cash, he and Manny drive away. Back in the stockroom, Owen gets his hands on a firearm and compromises, Willie to go to the police. All at once, Manny and a canine show up at the spot. On seeing Willie attempting to assault Owen, Bandit bounces on him. They battle and the canine is shot all the while. The cops come to the distribution center with perfect timing and get the canine to a vet. In the meantime, Manny and Willie drive away while being sought after by a squad car. They are glad that they basically have the cash however before long understand that bandit tricked them. Rather than the cash, the pack is loaded up with tacky notes. In the accompanying scene, Owen is in the emergency clinic supplicating that the canine is alive. The specialist comes outside the working room and gives him the uplifting news. A couple of days after the fact, the town city hall leader respects Bandit and Owen for their valiance and assisting the police with catching the looters. They are given $10,000 prize cash each. The whole town commends them for their grit. Dot in the last scene, we see that Bandit and Lily's canine have made a few puppies together. Owen and Lily offer the little dogs to individuals in a yard deal. Subscribe for more videos like